I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is the fundamental game of human relationships. If you've been following this channel, you know that I'm enamored with the concept of the game. I love this concept because there's so much you can do with it. And I define a game as anything with rules and a goal. And today I'm going to talk about the fundamental game of human relationships. It's called the game of please no. Many of you might not know this, but before psychology, I was actually a theater actor, and I worked for over a decade as a professional actor in New York City. I began that career at a prestigious acting conservatory there, and for the entire first year of my training, my acting class was entirely devoted to a single exercise, which was called the game of please no. And over the ensuing decades, I've come to understand that this is the fundamental game of human relationships. So I'd like to briefly describe what this game entails. The game of please know is very simple. It's always played between two people, and the rules are as follows. One person can only say the word please, and the other person can only say the words yes or no. And this person has to start in the no position. The please person always acts first, and the game goes on as long as it needs to. The goal of the game is for the please person to change the yes-no person's no into a yes. That's it. Among other things, this goal is an excellent way to develop non-verbal communication skills. I mean, you only have one word to use. So you pay attention to things like tonality, proxemics, posture, gesture, rhythm, pacing, etc. However, the aspect of the game that I want to focus on today is its relation to the negotiation at the heart of all human relationships. We go to other people because we want something from them. This could be love, attention, money, sex, resources, kindness, advice, friendship, play, doesn't matter. We go to other people when we want something from them. And that's why the please person always acts first. The issue is, as I've discussed in a previous episode, the universe lives closed, which is to say that the default starting position of the universe is always no. Can I have this job? No. Can I have this house? No. Can I have a date? No. Want to hang out? No. And that's why the yes-no person always starts from a no position. The fundamental game of human relationships is the game that we play to get what we want from other people the game of transforming no's into yeses. At the end of the day, people are successful in life in direct proportion to their ability to transform no's into yeses. Or, to put it another way, in direct relation to their mastery of the game of please no. Master this game, and the world is yours for the taking. Refuse to play, and the world will be a cold and miserable place. If you ever decide to play this game yourself, you'll very quickly learn that success is not a one-size-fits-all ordeal. The same game played between the same individuals on one day will have a very different progress and potential outcome than the same game played between the same two individuals on another. You'll also come to see that the various methods or strategies utilized by the please people to secure their yeses are varied, but they're not infinite. In fact, these strategies tend to fall into a few easily identifiable general categories, which include seduction, intimidation, humor, supplication, sincerity, etc. And these strategies will work differentially on different people on different days. The trick to mastering the game of please no is being able to suss out as quickly and reliably as possible the strategy that is most likely to be effective for that particular person in that particular moment. And you do this by learning to listen more carefully to the no response and becoming more perceptive to the information contained therein. Because the fact of the matter is that the way a person says no always contains a clue about how to get them to say yes provided you know how to listen. What do you think? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. 
And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychhackspodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.